and anyway, welcome to the channel. I'm your host, Holti, and we're going to be doing some awesome stuff this week. And we're changing up the recent video we did since it's got no views. We're doing the old format again, and hopefully, you guys won't miss the announcement we got mid video. So stay tuned, and we're going to roll that intro. Hey there, welcome back to this week's Let's Play of Dead Cells. We changed our video style for Monday, well, which is Sunday for you Americans, to include other games and content that we'll be going over and just kind of talk to you guys. So if you guys don't like that, let us know. If you like it, let me know as well so we can keep doing it. Anyway, so we're doing this Dead Cells thingy until this character dies, and then, you know, some more stuff after the Dead Cells episode. So, yeah. Hit that button that says like. Or the subscribe button. Or don't hit any buttons. In fact, don't even press the escape key. Or alt tab forward, just don't press buttons. I don't even know who you are. Anyway. So. Last episode we did a level. Now this episode we're doing a harder level. And I can't, oh wait, can you jump off walls? Are you can parkour this? I never thought about that. Oh well. How parkour can you go? Oh well. We've got like a lot of hit points. Oh! Yeah, we have a lot less. Oh, crap. Alright, that hurts. Good to know. I haven't been to this level often. You know, on my on my solo playthroughs, I have, but never with you guys. So yeah, this is the clock tower. It's a bit different than the other ones. In the sense that it's a lot more difficult to some degree, and it's a lead up to a boss fight. So yeah, 25 minutes in too. So. I can do this. Maybe if I do this properly. Ouch. This theme though. Oh crap. map is massive by the way so it takes a while to get through it I'm sorry uh, just how it goes why is Mercy the solution I check taking this quickly I must extract the essence of the solution and apply it to volunteers that's weird oh well. let's see No. <sighs> oh, what's this? Got a bow. Ninja's got me there. Oh crap. And invisibility is a pain in my neck. And my face apparently. Oh. There we go. Don't solve. Ding, 
ding 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 ding. Uh, how do I check my stuff? Let's start. Okay, so that's double damage and extra damage if they're frozen, so it's perfect for what my build is at the moment, amazingly. And now we got some buffs. Um, more HP is always good. Everybody, my name is Tail Radish, and I'm here with Skip for a Discord contest announcement. This time we're playing Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, a free roguelike game that you can either download or play in your browser. The objective of this contest is to get the highest score you can by surviving the longest out of all the contestants. I would like to recommend using the EXE version of this game, however. This can be downloaded from the game's website. You see, the EXE version displays your high scores, making it so that you don't have to keep track of 30 or so more game over files in order to make sure that you can just easily get to your highest score. You'll want to submit that. Now, this time around, the reward for winning this contest is both Binding of Isaac games for absolutely free, provided by the mods of the Discord server. However, there is a twist. If you can beat the high score of an experienced DCSS player, such as myself, there is an extra bonus reward in it for you. In order to enter, click the Discord link in the description and ask a mod on the official Skip server to sign you up. Trust me, we'd be perfectly happy to. Then boot up the game and get to learning, because there's a lot here. Now, good luck in the dungeon, and happy crawling. Keep going. And where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Ooh, what's this? Teleporter. So now I can get. Tactics up, which will increase my hit points by a lot. Oh, so many hit points. Hit points for days. time with it be Like, 
That would have killed me on level one. It doesn't even hurt me now. That's how many good points I've got now. Just burn when they die. Okay. Um. Oh, an elite. Not really. But still an elite, I guess. See what that thing that drawn was. Might be better than what I have again. Never know. Minus ten percent damage to save damage you take is inflicted upon the enemy. You get gold as well as sell. Nah, I like the one I've got now. Long it plants a bomb whenever I dodge. This seems helpful. Alright, where haven't I been on this map yet? Never been down. some of these drops before so I'm like huh these things do there's more to this game only 10 minutes into this episode and I still haven't found the exit yet bummer don't I have that oh that was the clock tower key that's right Uh 
by the Clockmaker's key. And we found the Clock Room. So, this is gonna be a boss fight next episode. So stay tuned, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, check out the rest of this episode if you, you got going on this week. The mark spreads. Forgetting that. Alright, see you on the next episode.